Boys, ready for this? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. I'm lucky to have them. We're all lucky to have them. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, 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 go. He cares so much. Nobody else cares as much as he does. <laughs> we always had to make it our priority to get better every day. Good guys, quick, 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 good. When you look at his children, they exude everything Rick is about. Macklin Celebrini is a freshman forward at Boston University and one of the best players in college hockey. Macklin Celebrini scores! I know he's my younger brother, but he's someone I look up to in a lot of ways, just how he carries himself. And uh, I try to learn from him because he's a special athlete. He's so focused. He's very goal-driven. When he sets his mind to something, that's it. Oh, my goodness! Luckily, he's got the resource that he does with his dad. So you did all your recovery tonight? Yeah. And he hangs on every word and listens to every bit of advice that Rick gives him. Uh, and he just sets out to do it. Sleep well. Love you. Love you, too. Macklin's father, Rick Celebrini, is vice president of player health and performance with the Golden State Warriors. Rick is part of the fabric of our organization in terms of his expertise combined with his humility and his humor and his friendship. He's an incredible asset. He is someone that is invaluable to us. A guy that keeps guys on the floor, when guys aren't on the floor, he puts plans together to make sure guys are firing on all cylinders. A guy who you can go talk to and confide in, that's who Rick is to this team. I truly feel you know, a commitment to the players to look after them as athletes, but, but as human beings, and, um, and I don't say that lightly. It really drives uh, you know, not only what I do, but, but how I do it these days. Rick worked with the Vancouver Canucks and Whitecaps before joining the Warriors. Macklin and his siblings have been around professional athletes their whole lives. You see a correlation with how good Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green are, and the work and the attention to detail they have. I've really started to watch like how, like how they do things. He always talks about um, Steph, obviously, just like how detailed he is and how like he'll work out for six hours. It's just what he loves. It's incredible and it reinforced our dad's message at a young age where it's like, it doesn't matter how talented you are, you have to put in the work. Go! I have at different points challenged them. Come on, stay deep guys. Nobody's gonna give up. If you really love this and you have a passion for it, let me help you get to the pinnacle of that sport. Good. Love it. He was our dad, but he was also our uh, director of player health and performance. What's your plan today? What are you doing to get better today? That was his philosophy with us growing up. Every day there's always something you can do to get better. It doesn't always have to be the hardest thing in the world. Like, you can just go shoot pox. It kind of becomes a habit. Like, it kind of becomes, like, just your routine and what you do. It gets to that point where, like, some off days, I'm like, I, I don't feel comfortable not doing anything today. We joke a little bit, um, you know, with Rick, like, do, 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 uh, do the kids really need to hear that every single moment? Can you just maybe watch a movie with the kids one night? There's no doubt he's, uh, he treats his kids just like he treats his, his players. What Rick would tell him is, this is what it takes. You know, you can't do what everybody else is doing and expect to achieve greatness. Most people just see the glory, but a lot of people forget about all the hard work that goes into those moments. He's serious. He, I mean, when it's, when it's time to work, it's time to work. I like that. I, I respond well to it. I mean, it's, it's a tough life, but it's one that I think he uh, understands is necessary for him to achieve his defined goals and um, it's something that he's embraced and, and thrown himself in it with a passion. It's the satisfaction of doing it. Like, you know you're getting better. You know you're working towards your dream and your goal.